The entrance to the show is Nichols Hall. It has a large display of Phalaenopsis, the grocery store orchid, in the center. It is bracketed on three sides with Phalaenopsis type dendrobiums. On these orchids, the flowers come out of the top of the canes. These dendrobiums can get very tall. On the sides of Nichols Hall are large triangular arches over the doorways. These arches are made out of vandas and Spanish moss. Vandas need bright light and high humidity. I am wondering how they are going to water the vandas during the show or if all these orchids will be dead and crispy by the end of March. From Nichols Hall, there is a short connecting hall to Jutris Gallery. The connecting hall has many orchid displays and the theme of the show is revealed. The theme of this year's orchid show is magnified. While I can zoom in and give you close-ups of the orchids, the designer of the show, Jason Toth, has manipulated scale and proportion to enable exploration, and there are many interactive elements in the show. Placed between the displays in the hallway are orchids, mostly Paphiopetalums, the slipper orchid. The orchids are all facing large, round mirrors. The mirrors are also curved. The curve of the mirror magnifies the orchid and makes it very large. By walking around the orchid, but looking at the mirror, the orchids get bigger and smaller. Next is the Joutrus Gallery, which is filled with color-changing lighting and a spot where everyone is obviously meant to take a selfie. Welcome to the Orchid Show. If you continue through the room, you end up in the Tropical Gallery, but I'm gonna stop in the Joutrus Gallery first and look at the orchids in here. 
the tinted lighting makes it very difficult to film the orchids. Before the tropical greenhouse, a sign says, the orchid sculpture in the greenhouse is missing its labellum, or its specialized petal. Come inside and become this important orchid part. Once inside the greenhouse, three huge Tillandsia hemmed flats are hanging over the path. I guess they're supposed to be the dorsal sepal and two petals if we are the labellum. I wonder what are supposed to be the lateral sepals. Once past the orchid sculpture, I didn't see any additional examples of the theme that I could understand. There were big balls of Phalaenopsis hanging from the ceiling, but I've seen those in previous years. Between the permanent orchid trees, there was a different type of ball. There was a big ball made out of Latoria-type dendrobiums instead. Underneath the dendrobium ball is the waterfall, which was planted with Paphiopetalums. The tropical greenhouse also displays the currently blooming orchids in the CBG's collection. The orchids on display change throughout the year. Dendrobium pendulum. Flowacetum Amazing Grace. Epidendrum Centropetalum. Rinko Stylus Gigantia. Ludicia discolor or Ludicia lightning. If you have a greenhouse, you too can grow a Lundii this big. Clawesia warzoixii. can see the perfect ordering. What I love most about the orchid show at night is the mystery. The interplay of light on the orchids in the greenhouse makes them look very magical and mysterious, but it also keeps you from seeing the flowers. If you want to see the flowers on this dendrochylum, then you need to come during the day.
outside in the gallery, there are displays with magnifying glasses where you can examine plant parts up close. Do you see the hairs on the edge of the petals? Various spots and lines can often be seen in orchids with pouches, such as Phragmopedium and Paphiopetalum. Markings tend to be on the inner surface and are visible throughout the pouch. Bubble phyllum is one of the largest groups of orchids and is found in diverse habitats around the world. Known for its often dramatic and unusual flower shapes, all bubble phyllum have a hinged lip. While small in size, orchids like Dendrochylum have flowers on pendulous spikes that share the same characteristics as orchids with larger blooms. In the gallery in front of the arid greenhouse, the windows had been blacked out and there was a small theater constructed, which was showing the movie Orchid Odyssey. I thought it had the creepiest music. Zooming on an orchid, video, nice phalaenopsis in a display, gorgeous yellow cymbidiums. This room has a lot of ambiance. In the gallery outside of the semi-tropical greenhouse is probably my favorite display in the show, which uses the magnified theme. They took Fresnel lenses, which are the kind of lenses used to magnify light in lighthouses, and used them to magnify orchids. It makes the orchids gigantic, and I could walk back and forth here all day. The theme of the semi-tropical greenhouse was the orchid part known as the column. The column is the orchid's reproductive structure. It's interesting because it's fused. In a regular flower, the male part, the stamen, and the female part, the ovary, are separate. In an orchid, the column includes both male and female parts.
I think this spathoglottis is here all the time. It is not specially planted for the orchid show. It's originally from Southeast Asia, but it has escaped cultivation to become naturalized throughout the Caribbean, Florida, and Hawaii. This Papio petalum, I believe it might be an Alba venustum, is also here all the time. There were lots of cymbidiums in the semi-tropical greenhouse. They were all planted under the columns of Phalaenopsis. Cymbidiums are semi-terrestrial orchids. They like it cooler, and in Chicago, where houses are heated, they need a chill in the fall in order to throw out a flower spike, so it's fine to leave them outside until the first hard frost. I hope you've enjoyed seeing the orchid show at night with me.